Welcome to the Comedy MX Classic Comedy Channel. Classic as in Laurel and Hardy, our gang, Buster Keaton, and Charlie Chaplin. Thank you, boy. Where you be when I need you? Right here. Okay. I told you not to make that last payment. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh Out Loud comedy, as in cartoons, TV shows, features galore, or the campy giant claw. Chuckle and guffaw the night away as you binge watch CMX classic comedies. <laughs> These are the hands of two typical American teenagers, Corliss Archer and Dexter Franklin. They are settling an argument in a typical American way. The argument is a typical American argument between two typical American teenagers. He wants to go to the boxing bouts tonight. She wants to go to a fashion show. I win. We go to the fights. All right, Dexter. What's fair is fair. Boy, I, I hear it's going to be a real great fight. I'll pick you up about... But uh, I think it's only fair to tell you that unless we go to the fashion show, there'll be no goodnight kiss. Boy, oh boy, are we going to have fun tonight. I always didn't want to go to a fashion show. Here's an interesting item. At a ball game between Harvard and William and Mary. I don't know anything about sports. Oh, but the score. Harvard 47, William 21, Mary nothing. <laughs> Harry. Mm, yes, dear. I was thinking about our vacation this year. Yeah. I think about it every day. Boy, it'll be great to get back to that old fishing camp. Makes working all year seem almost worthwhile. What a paradise. How many years have we been going there? Seventy-five. <laughs> Must be ooh, 20, isn't it? At least. Hmm. Yes, sir, I'm a lucky man to have a wife and daughter that like to fish. <laughs> sir. I was talking to Mary today. They're spending their vacation at Mountain View Lodge. They can have it. Dressing for dinner every night, that's not my idea of a vacation. Well, at least there's a dining room. Mom, Daddy, I won the essay contest. I oh. got the highest mark in school. Carlos, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Nice going, baby. That's my girl. Thanks. Oh, I'm so happy I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to fly like that, you... I'll break the landing gear. <laughs> now, what'd you write about? In my essay, The American Home. Well, now, that's a good subject for an essay. What'd you say? Well, the American home occupies a strange place in America. America, the birthplace and stronghold of modern democratic society. Because in this great democratic country, there is no democracy in the American home. What? Go ahead, Corliss. The American home is a dictatorship. The American father is a dictator. He makes the decisions for the whole family, and he makes them arbitrarily. Decisions are not made democratically. While it is true that the American father may be a benevolent dictator, still the fact remains... That is the most blatant nonsense that I ever heard. Oh, but Harry... How in the foggy blue morning did you ever reach that conclusion? Well, golly, Daddy, I... How could you write such, such trash? After being brought up in a home like this, you certainly don't think I'm arbitrary. Well, you know that all decisions made in this house are made in a democratic manner. Are they, Harry? Of course they are. 
Everyone's wishes are taken into consideration, and everyone is given an opportunity to be heard. Well, Daddy, I... Corliss, don't argue. <laughs> Besides, if we're going to a picture show, we better get started. Good evening, all. Hi, Dad. Oh, hello, Dexter. Hello, Dexter. You know, Corliss, it's such a beautiful night. Would you like to take a little ride? Oh, thanks, Dex, but Daddy's taking us to the movies. Care to come along, Dexter? No, no, thanks, Besides. I've seen every movie in town. Yeah, what are you going to go see? Well, what's playing at the Orpheum? The Bloody Foot. Oh, it's real good. It's, it's about this tough private eye, see? He's talking on a telephone. Hello, Oily. Let me talk to Greasy. Hello, Greasy. This is Slippery. Listen, I... Ah! Oh! Oh, you're back, Greasy. It's a little noisy in here. <laughs> we'll pick our own picture. Oh, how about this Western playing at the palace? Oh, I don't like Western. I'd rather see the picture at the Mayfair. Love eternal. Oh, I'd love that. Mary told me it was just wonderful. No, none of those gooey love stories for me, thanks. Oh, gosh, Mr. Archer, it's a good picture. Yeah, you really should see it. It'll remind you of the time when you used to be in love with Mrs. Archer. <laughs> I don't want to go. Those pictures... I still love Mrs. Archer. Oh, I know, but you're married now. I mean, before, when it was fun. It's enough, Dexter. I still don't want to go and see Love Infernal. I mean, Love Eternal. Oh, come on, Daddy. I've been looking forward to it all week. I have too, Harry. What do you say, Daddy? I don't know. I... I don't think I want to go out at all. I, uh... have a headache. Well... Do you want to see that Western chorus? Well, all right. Harry? Mm, yeah. Oh, my headache isn't that bad. Come on, let's go. Everybody has different tastes. Some men like movies with pretty young actresses. And some men like movies with, hmm, maybe everybody doesn't have different tastes. <laughs> you do that, Daddy? Yes, Harry. Why? They were just getting into the step, and I loved watching them. I've had a very hard day. I'm quite tired. I want to relax and read my paper. Oh, but, Daddy... I just want a little peace. Holy cow, Mr. Archer. Always a bit Dexter, of... go home. Harry! Go home, Dexter. Yes, sir. Good night, Mrs. Archer. Good night, Dexter. Good night, Corliss. Good night. Good night, Mr. Archer. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Harry, that wasn't fair. Not fair to what quiet in my own house? What it comes back to, Harry, is that question of democracy in the home again. I don't know. Well, golly, Daddy. If democracy is doing what the majority want, Mom and I wanted Dexter to stay. So, you think I'm a dictator? Well. Very well. From now on, this house will be a democracy. I mean a real democracy, and any question that comes up will be voted on, and the majority vote will win. Oh, Daddy, that's wonderful. You're just about the fairest, most wonderful, most democratic daddy in the whole world. All right. Now, let's not have any more talk about me being a dictator. I 
want to make a motion. I make a motion that we invite Dexter to come back and dance. I vote yes. I vote yes. And I vote... And now, back to Meet Corliss Archer. We owe the Fergusons a dinner. I think I'll have them over tomorrow night. No, no. Oh, they're the dullest people. Their idea of a high old time is to see who can make the most noise hardening their arteries. Well, it's an obligation, and we might just as well get it over oh, with. But, Janet, not tomorrow night. I vote yes. I vote no. Corliss, I vote yes. Oh, by the way, I was talking to Mary again about Mountain View Lodge. And I think we should take a vote on where we're going to spend our vacation. And I think we should do it now. No, no. no it's, it's too early. It's too early to vote. Vac vacation time isn't here yet. Good morning, all. Hi, Dick. Come on, Hello. Hey, did you hear about the father who named his kid California because everybody says, at California, here I come, and he wanted to be able to say, California, come here. <laughs> Yes, you do. I'm glad you come over here so much. I'm glad you spend so much time here. You know, you're almost like part of the family. Uh, part of the family. You know, dear, he is almost part of the family, and I think we should make him a member of our democracy. Well, he is really part of the family. At any rate, not yet. Well, as the mouse said when he got his tail caught in the meat grinder, it won't be long now. <laughs> <laughs> it's another gay one. <laughs> well, anyway. I move that Dexter be made a member of the Archer Democracy and given a vote. And I vote yes. Corliss. Oh, sure, Daddy. I vote yes. Good. Janet. I vote yes. Well, good. That makes it unanimous. Congratulations, Dexter. You are now a citizen of the Archer Republic with all of the rights and privileges thereof. I am? Yes. Where do I apply for unemployment compensation? <laughs> around here. Oh, uh, by the way, Dexter, I've invited over to Judge Marshall's house tonight. You know, he has a billiard room and he asked me over to play pool. Would you like to come along? You mean it? Of course. Oh. Well, well, holy cow, sure. Uh, thanks a million, Mr. Archer. Golly, Daddy, I never thought you'd invite Dexter to go with you to Judge Marshall's house. Well, why not? Uh, we're, we're fellow citizens. Besides, he's my pal. I like him. Okay, pal. Yeah, well, well, sure. Right. <laughs> well, I make a gay around here. <laughs> Mr. Archer seems to find Dexter's gaiety a little damp. Dexter has the knack of being both the life of the party and a wet blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter, one remains quiet when one's opponent is shooting.
place. should have been in a safer place. A bomb shelter. The seven ball in the corner pocket. <laughs> Next. You must take your cue further back. Sorry, Judge. One moment. Now put your put your left hand farther out with the forefinger around the cube. That's it. Now, turn your right hand around. Now, ra raise your elbow. All right, good. Now, all right. Now that's it. That's it. Now shoot. Exactly a pool shark. No, not a shark. After that last shot, he's more of a swordfish. Yes, Dexter. I'll pick up the tickets. Yeah, I hear it's a great show. We ought to have a lot of fun. <laughs> hmm? All right. <laughs> I'm glad we understand each other. Right, pal. Nice boy, Dexter. Nice boy. Golly, Daddy. You sure have become crazy about him all of a sudden. Why, I've always liked Dexter. Your father has always liked fishing, too. <laughs> no, you don't mean Daddy's bribing him to get his vote. Well, he wouldn't do that. It's not... Well, it's not honest. Oh? Well, is it honest to bribe Dexter for his vote? Is that a good example of democracy in action? Bribe him? I'm not bribing him. Well, what are you doing, dear? Lobbying. <laughs> Lobbying is an accepted practice under the democratic system. There's nothing wrong in being nice to a representative of one of the parties and allowing him to see the virtue of your own point of view. <laughs> Golly, Daddy, you're so smart. <laughs> well. I mean it. You're brilliant. I don't know what you're talking about, but you sure know a lot of words. <laughs> well, you think over what I said, and you'll see I'm right. Goodbye. I have to go. Bye. You know what I think, Mom? What? Well, I think if lobbying is all right for one party, it's all right for the other party, too. And you know what I think, Corley? What? I think what you think is right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Corliss. Your father home? No, Dexie. Just went out. So we can be alone. 
Huh? Sit down and be comfortable. Sit in this lobby. I mean, chair. <laughs> What a delightful picture. What? Where? Where? I'm talking about you, Dexter. You're so handsome. Well, I'm not really handsome, Corliss. Yes, you are, Dex. It's no wonder I love you. I... I love you too, Corliss. Do you, Dex? Boy, I'll say, just to have you touch me like that makes my heart pound and makes me feel shivery all over and hot and cold. Just like I had malaria. <laughs> oh, do I love you. Just to have you touch me makes me sick. Yes, you're so romantic. Hmm. Carlos, for you I'd do anything in the world. Anything? Anything. Like making sure I don't have to go back to that horrid old fishing camp this year. Gosh, Carlos, your father kind of expects me to vote with him, you know, and... Dexter? Well, gosh, Carlos, your father's been awfully nice to me, and... Well, you know how he feels about fishing and, and... Uh... You said you'd do anything for me. But anything means everything. And if you don't mean everything, then you're just trifling with my emotions. And if you're just a trifler, I never want to see you again. Yeah, but Corliss, if you never see me again, how are we going to get married? We're not going to get married. Corliss, you can't mean that. What about all those children you said we were going to have? You don't want me to be the father of a bunch of motherless children, do you? <laughs> Just a trifle. I am not. I never trifled my whole life. You said you'd do anything. Did you really mean what you said? Well, well gosh, Corliss, I... Anything? Well, gosh, I... Anything? Well... Anything? Corliss, I have only one thing to say. What? Anything. Thanks. Holy cow. Hi, pal. I was just over to your house. I was going to... What's the matter? You look as though you'd lost a friend. I'm about to. Hmm? Yes. I'd like to take a boat on something. Well, sure thing. What? Our vacation this year. Oh, Corliss. I have an idea that you're going to make a motion that we go to Mountain View, right? Right. No, all right. We vote. Uh, you know, democracy. Uh, are you sure you want to vote after all? You know, if it's a two to two tie, the motion isn't carried and we don't go to Mountain View. <laughs> That we go to Mountain View, and I vote yes. I vote yes. Mm -hmm. And I vote no. Dexter? Well, I, I vote, I think I hear my mother calling me. It's your vote, Dexter. Well, I vote. Boy, she sounds desperate. Hey, maybe the house is on fire. Remember your motherless children, Dexter. Dexter. No, 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 no stop kidding. Vote. Well, I vote. I vote. I vote. No. No. I vote yes. We go to Mountain View. No fishing this year. Well, we won. Hooray? Hooray? Hooray. <laughs> Golly. Daddy sure used to enjoy those fishing trips. That's right. After all, it's really his vacation. I mean, he's the one who works hard all year. Harry! Yes, dear. Harry, Corliss has something to say to you. Yes, what is it? Well, we've thought it over, Daddy, and 
We've decided to change our vote and go to the fishing camp instead. No, no, there's no necessity, dear. We... We voted. Oh, but we want to, Daddy. That's right, Harry. We want to. Well, thanks. Well, I, I hear there are very few mosquitoes this year. Uh, well, thanks. Uh, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to vote on something else, too. Well, what is it? Well, I make a motion that we invite Dexter to go with us this year. And I vote yes. I vote yes. Holy cow, I vote yes. <laughs> Oh, isn't this wonderful? No argument about what movie we're going to see tonight. Well, that's democracy. Majority vote decides what picture we're going to see. I vote for the uh, gangster picture at the Bijou. I vote for the musical at the Orpheum. I vote for the show at the Majestic. Well, it's on television. <laughs> 